Welcome back uh, to Geometry Classroom. Uh, today we'll uh, talk about central angles of a circle. In uh, this uh, lesson, we'll uh, define the central angle of a circle and its intercepted arc. And we'll learn how to find the intercepted arc measure and how to find the measure of the central angle of a circle. Uh, but before that, let's define what is a central angle. All right? So, a central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle and its sides, right, PA and PB, are radia of the circle, right? That's why we call it central, because its center, its uh, vertex is at the center of the circle. Now, uh, example, angle uh, APB, right? Intercepted arc. Intercepted arc is an arc that is cut off by the sides of an angle, right? Remember, an arc, last time when we talk about uh, introduction to circles, uh, we defined an arc as the distance between two points on the edge of the circle, right? In this case, the arc, right, is uh, defined by the distance between A and B on the, the edge of the circle, right? Now, the intercepted arc is the arc, right, that is cut off by the sides of the, uh, the angle, the central angle, right? Uh, as we can see, uh, a radius PA intersect the circle at point A. Radius PB intersect the circle at point B. The portion of on the edge of the circle that is between A and B is called intercepted arc. Now, uh, we have a, a theorem, a rule for central angle. The measure of the central angle of a circle is equal or is the same as the measure of the intercepted arc formed by the endpoints of the central angle. Also, the sum of all central angles of a circle is equal 360 degrees. For example, in this picture, right, the central angle 1, right, Yes, the measure of this angle, right, is the same as the measure of its intercepted arc, right, which is this one. That's why measure of angle 1, right, would be 80 degrees, right? Why? Because the measure of this angle is the measure of the intercepted arc, which is 80 degrees. Good. It's a simple, right? Uh, let's have a few uh, examples with central angle, right? For example, here. It says find x. In this case, what is given? is given the intercepted arc. Let's use uh, a color, right? This is the intercepted arc for the central angle, right? We know the measure of the uh, central angle, x, is the same as the measure of its intercepted arc. That's why a uh, measure of angle X would be 110 degrees. Good. 
In the second example, it says find arc AB. So this time we have to find the measure of an arc, right? Now, what is given? Is given the measure of this central angle. Now, the measure of the, the arc AB, right, would be the same as the measure, right, of its central angle, which is this one. <coughs> yes? There are equal, congruent, according to the central angle theorem. Now, we can find the measure of this angle. Why? Because these two angles, right, are linear pair, right? They form a line. So they add up 180. So if we denote this uh, uh, angle by x, right, we can write x plus 127 equals 180 because they are supplementary. Now, to get x, we subtract 127 on both sides. And we get x equals 53 degrees. So, this angle is 53 degrees. But the measure of the central angle is the same as the measure of its intercepted arc, which is AB. So measure of uh, arc AB, let's say measure of arc AB, we use this symbol. Uh, this is the symbol for arc equals 53 degrees. Good. Uh, let's have uh, a few more uh, examples with uh, central angles. In this example, It says use circle P, a means circle whose center is P, to find the value of X. Then find the measure of the red uh, arc. I think the red arc is this one. Uh, let's use the red color. If I have one, probably not. Let's use another color. So anyway, these are uh, our mark uh, arcs. Uh, now, we know, we know that P, uh, P, B, C, and A, P, C are central angle, right? Why? Because their vertices, or the, their vertex, because they have a common vertex, is located at the center of the circle, right? Now, we know, right, the measure of the central angle, right, is the same as the measure of its intercepted arc, which is 2x minus 30. So the measure of this angle would be 2x minus 30. Also, the measure of the other uh, central angle, which is uh, APC, is the same as its intercepted arc, which is x. So the measure of this angle is x. Now, 
as we can see, these two angles are linear pair, right? Because they both form a line. They are supplementary, right? They add up 1a. So we can write the equation 2x minus 30 plus x equals 180 degrees. Then we solve for x. We combine x terms. 2x plus x equals 3x minus 30 equals 180. Then we add 30 on both sides. And we get 3x equals 210. Then we divide by 3 both sides. And we get x equals 70. But we are not done because we need to find the measure of this arc. We know x, we plug it in. So you're going to have 2 times 70 minus 30, which is 140 minus 30, which is 110 degrees. That's the measure of the, the arc or the red arc. Now, uh, let uh, find the measure of this R this time. Again, uh, the measure of the intercepted arc is the same as the measure of this angle, right? Why? Because this angle, right, uh, MPB, is uh, a central angle. We know the measure of the central angle is the same as the measure of its intercepted arc. So this one would be 4x. Again, the measure of this angle, which is another uh, central angle, is the same as the measure of its intercepted arc, which is x, right? But as we see here, again, these two angles are linear pair because they form a line. They are supplementary. They add up 180. So we can write the equation. We can uh, write 4x plus x equals 180. Then we combine like terms. 4x plus x equals 5x equals 180. Then we divide by 5, both sides, and we get x equals 36 degrees. <coughs> but we need arc MB. We know x, we plug it in, and we get 4 times 36 degrees, which is 144 degrees. Uh, now, uh, in uh, this problem, we need to find the measure of this uh, arc, right? This is the, let's say, the red arc. Now, what do we have here? We have the measure of these arcs, right? The measure of this uh, arc is the same as the measure of its central angle, right? So this one would be 4x. Then the measure of this central angle, right, would be the same as the measure of its intercepted arc, which is 6x. The measure of this central angle, right, is the same as the measure of its intercepted arc, which is 7x. And the measure of uh, this uh, central angle, right, the, the, the one that left, would be the same as the measure of its intercepted arc, which is 
uh, 7x. Right? Now, as we can see, these uh, four angles, right, form a circle, right? Form a complete circle whose uh, degrees is 360, right? Remember, a circle, a full circle, has 360 degrees. So, in other words, all these four angles add up 360. So, we can write the equation. So, we're going to have 4x plus 6x plus 7x plus 7x equals 360. We simply combine them, you add them. 4, 6 plus 6, 6, 6x six equals 10x plus 7x, 17x plus 7x, 24x equals 360 degrees. Then we simply divide by 24 and we get x equals I think uh, let uh, uh, find the, the quotient would be uh, 1 uh, 15 I think yes uh, 12 yes 15 now we need the measure of this angle right the, this arc we know x we plug in it so you're gonna have 7 times 15, right, which is 105 degrees. Good. That's all we, we have for today. Thank you for watching my video.